Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. So I have an update on some major energy that's moving in. Real quick, for those of you who are new to our community, my name is Jillian Grace, and I'm a universal life coach. What I do is give you all of the information that you need on how to work with universal energy and how to apply it to your life so that you can move forward in whatever direction you want faster. And most of all, understand some of the influences of the world around us and how that applies to your world world and how you can use that for you. So we have a massive, massive energy frequency moving in, and it's supposed to hit the strongest tomorrow, the 1st of December. This frequency is an extremely high voltage cosmic rays, and it is coming directly from an area in the universe in which the satellites and NASA and those who study the universal energy, the astronomers have no idea where the exact origin is. However, it's going to be powerful. So we have that that has been something that has been moving into our field that those of you who are in our private community on Patreon, you're aware of that. We just talked about it for the class for the first half of December. That energy is going to start to really filter in and really hit within the next couple of days. In addition to that, we have a massive CME coming in. It is so large that there's warnings before it even strikes. So some of it is going to trickle in this afternoon, and it's going to be more of a moderate type storm. But then as we move through tomorrow, it's going to get extremely strong. So what this means for you? Well, first, what it means for your technology, a lot of times it's going to affect cell phone waves, radio waves, and the way that type of frequency functions around us. So don't get too frustrated with your phone if you can't send a message and don't get too annoyed with your computer if it doesn't seem to function properly. All of that is normal. Now, emotionally, how this translates to us. So this is a high octane frequency coming in. Now, remember, our bodies are energetic. There's an energy frequency running through each one of our systems. So when that connects with our energy system, it causes almost a jolt. Now that jolt and how it manifests for you is going to be depending on where your energy in lies. So if you have a blocked frequency where you tend to default to feeling like you're anxious every single time you feel a little bit off, then it is going to heighten what you believe is anxiety. If you're someone who tends to feel exhausted and tends to feel more on the depressed side, when this energy hits your vibrational field, it is going to perpetuate and come through to you as ideas or thoughts that would increase your level of depression. Now, how this hits your field is going to depend on you. How you handle it is what you have control of. So if you are able to override those mental cues that are telling you that what you're feeling is something negative, what you're feeling is anxiety, what you're feeling is depression, what you're feeling is a shakiness, if you can step outside of that and understand the true meaning of the universal energy that's coming in, it is literally giving you an opportunity to grab a hold of a higher frequency, a higher electrical vibration to run through you. Therefore, if you can set aside those thoughts and not change the frequency as it enters your field and accept it and let it run through, then you're going to be one step closer to mastering your own manifestation on this planet. So it's really cool when you have a heads up, and that's why I always will give you all a heads up. That's huge for me. Now, one thing that you want to do to really connect with this energy, if you're feeling sort of off or shaky, go for a nice walk. Even if you can't get outside because the weather is inclement, sitting in the window and just taking a moment to just be, just looking at the outdoors, connecting with that frequency is going to be very grounding for you. Also, those of you who are in our private patron family, which I'll put a link in the notes to that community, you know exactly what astrology Yoga poses to use. And we've even working with some mudras and some other techniques for the beginning of this month. All of that is going to help you as we move through this more tumultuous or exciting exciting, enlightening period that is currently taking place. Okay. If anyone has any questions, please hit me up in the notes. Other than that, I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out to work on your energy. It helps the collective in a tremendous way. And I'm here if you need anything. I'll chat with you soon.